Going down the stairs. Oh my god. <laughs> hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer, and this is Jean. And welcome to our home. We wanted to make a video and show you what we've bought to decorate for Christmas so far and how we've decorated. I'm sure we will change things up before Christmas gets here, but this is just so far what we've got and we wanted to share it with you. It's not fancy, but it's homey and we enjoy it. We have a lot of comfort and- It's been fun. It has been. And we are finding a lot of comfort and joy and love in our home and we want to share that with you guys. So, Enjoy, and I hope you guys are having a good start to the Christmas season, and remember, I'm looking in the wrong place, remember to remember what the holiday season is really about, not about gifts or presents or anything else, but it's about love, peace, and goodwill towards That's others. I was about to say, the peace and the love of Christ. Yes. All right. All right, enjoy. I'm still looking in the wrong place. Bye. All right, what we are making, I'm not quite sure what it's technically called, but it makes the home smell absolutely wonderful for the holidays. I learned this from my old mammy. And um, basically anything that, uh, anything that goes well with the holidays in cooking, such as your basic spices and some fruits, even cranberries, uh, I don't have cranberries, I don't really care, but any of this stuff you can leave out, you can add, you can make up your own concoctions. Since spices are pretty expensive, I just got Kroger brand, since I'm just making it for basic smell -ems. <clears throat> It fills the entire home up uh, with an absolutely wonderful, beautiful smell. Make your neighbors jealous, and or if, if you will, you know what I mean. Anyone, your guest that enters inside your home, will automatically feel warm and welcome. I bought two of each because typically this whole thing, once you boil it and keep it simmering throughout the day, uh, and then you shut it off at night, you can, it'll last for a good three days before it starts to lose its um, oomph, its power, its, its, yeah, its potency. So I have this set for a good three days, and probably next weekend I have a whole other set that I'm going to make. Towards, like, Thanksgiving. Yeah. Whoop, there goes the pear. There goes the pear. Oh, there. <laughs> and I don't care about washing anything or cleanliness. It's not really important. It's not food. It's for one of the five senses. The most, one of the most beautiful five senses. I got to, he squirted, he squirted me. Oh, really? You know, I'm not quite sure if the rind would have a bitter smell. I don't think so, though. Because, I don't know if you, like, with a garbage disposal, if you throw rind down, man, it smells good. So, we'll just keep the rind. time I had a pair, I was at my neighbor's house when I was like 10 years old. Yeah, I think I've had a pair since then. I'm not big on pears though, I don't know why. They are pretty good. Yeah, they're very good. Especially with some cottage cheese. That's not ripe though, you can tell it's... No, -uh. it needs to be ripened up. Mm -hmm. Maybe your 
pot a little bit this way. I'll run just half these. Fill it up with water, of course, um, enough where it kind of floats about because it is going to steam out and you will have to add water at some point. I can already smell the oranges. Yeah. That's good. Mm-hmm. Here, so what we have is cloves. Uh, you can get whole or ground. Cinnamon sticks or ground. Well, that's ginger. Ground ginger. Cinnamon sticks or ground cinnamon. Uh, pumpkin spice. Like I said, there's no set recipe. It's just mainly... Hmm. Whatever fits the holidays. I'm going to start with a little pumpkin spice. Maybe not a little, but a lot. This is fun because you don't have to measure. Just throw it in there, baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that smells good. The cloves and the pumpkin spice. I don't know, all these are just a great mix. sometimes chew on a clove. A yeah. whole clove. It refreshes your breath, kills germs. Mm -hmm. The messier you get, the more fun it is. <laughs> All right. And you just put that on the stove and put it on high, start it on a boil, and then simmer from there. And that is how you make your house smell absolutely awesome for the holidays. This is what happens when you FaceTime your woman on what kind of decorations to get. You get everything. Besides <laughs> these hangers. Christmas has exploded. Yes, an explosion of Christmas. Got a little disc going on. Oh, look, it's broke. Some garland. This is broke. No, that's probably the end. Oh, hot glue. Okay. Put some spit on it. The ribbons. Ribbons. Of course, you know, you just need these, things. Things. these are just practical things here. Since you, you took them away before I could show them. Oh, they're just extension cords. Just Google extension cord and power strip. That's what they look like. And we got a bunch of candy canes because we're going to make candy cane wreaths and I'll, we're going to do a video on that later on when we do those. I said, I said, Jennifer, how many did we get? Ten. Ten. Because we're going to make some for our neighbor, too. Uh, oh, so. okay. Uh, Piggy thinks apparently candy canes is cat food. <laughs> oh, oh. Yes, he's like, uh, if he's hearing sex rattle, he's coming. <laughs> Bada bean. Ribbon. I think we got two of those, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. Lights that go around the door. Lights that go on the, the tree. tree. Got our first little uh, collectible. Our first Christmas. We'll write on the back, you know. The date. The date, and whatever. Date. Permanent marker. Tree lights. Decorative items. And Jennifer insists. Explain. Okay, those are candy cane sticks. I never eat them, but it's a tradition that you have to have them every Christmas. 
My mom would get me one every year for Christmas. I never eat them, but it's just a tradition to get one every year. A cute little tin. And then, ooh, in that tin, we're gonna put these sugar-free, these actually have stevia in them, so. The ingredients aren't too bad. They're actually really good. Those are the really good ones. And since they're individually wrapped, I don't necessarily have to wash that. We have two two packs of these. Nice, nice little treat tin for the table. This is only three bucks. Not bad. That's pretty. Yeah. That's for the outside of our door. Can't forget about the garden. Hello, is this one? For the sofa. This one I picked out. I like that one. That's pretty. Old truck in, a, in the snow. And, and I picked that one out. The reindeer, the snowman. Anything snowman is, is good for me. I love blue. Finally, I got my blue for the Christmas tree. She said no to blue lights or anything else, so. The blue bulbs are okay. Yeah, it's a little bit more classy, cleaner, I guess. Mm -hmm. Second bow. Yes, did you get one of those for you? No. Oh, you gotta get one for you. I'm not wearing it. Oh, come just, on. Just, just right Babe. now is okay. Just right now is okay. It's okay if the world sees me, but not our neighbors. <laughs> Bring the stockings back and they didn't even have to show them the stockings. Oh. That's his and that's hers. Mm -hmm. Aww. This looks all snowy and clean. I like that. Uh -huh. This looks like a girl's boot anyways. Yeah, it does. That's, that's nice. This is just, this reminds me of like reindeer fur. Yeah. The bells. Yeah, actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. Reindeer. Yeah. And little snowman. We're gonna take the stick off of them. Take that, break that stick off and stick it. I up. think we're gonna need one more of those because we'll put it in the middle of the candy cane. That was just my idea. What'd you say? We might need one more of those snowman. Oh. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. And that little snowman. Oh, cute. I think we'll put on the door, I'm not sure. But it was a dollar, so how can you pass that up for a dollar? A snowman. A snow cat. <laughs> Here you go, we'll move. Uh, Piggy, what do you think? He doesn't care. <laughs> Decorative towels. Holders. Again, Christmas has exploded. And table runner. Table runner. She apparently did not have any decorations, so. I have a few. And it's her first it. Christmas, making an exception. All of this stuff is like buck, two bucks, three buck, two. Oh, what fun. Christmas has begun. And that's the sum of it. And then we'll be back as we decorate and with some other little goodies from Christmas beginning. Mm -hmm.